new information now on the latest police shooting in New York City. Friends say the man who was shot dead by officers had a long history of mental illness, and he had reportedly turned to the city for help. CBS 2's Christina Fan has the latest. Quizzy Ashun was known in his Flatbush neighborhood for selling his own T-shirt designs and also for his longtime struggle with bipolar disorder. Friends say the 33-year-old had been arrested before for attacking a police officer, but this time the encounter was deadly. It probably triggered the last time he was apprehended by the police because he's sick. Police say two cops were trying to arrest a man inside a nail salon in Brownsville Friday when a shoon intervened, using a metal chair to hit a veteran officer over the head, critically injuring him. His partner used his taser, but police say that did not work. The NYPD says the officer being assaulted was forced to open fire, killing a shoon. I know he had a, he was taking some medication, I believe, uh, to help himself. The mayor says the city will investigate a claim that Ashun's family had requested the city for help earlier this month regarding his mental health. We asked the mayor about reports that the family was told by city officials that Ashun appeared nonviolent and was not considered a threat. We need to know more about that for sure. We need to know more about that. Friends who created this memorial say there is no justifying Ashun's actions, but they wonder if the city can do more to help the mentally ill. Maybe they could show some kind of wristband, a colored band, or a monitor on their ankle. So when the cops see these things on these guys, they could think twice. The nail salon remained closed Saturday as police continued their investigation. This was the fifth officer involved shooting for the NYPD in the last two weeks. In Brownsville, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. That injured police officer who still has not been identified by the NYPD remains hospitalized in a medically induced coma.